Hello guys and welcome to the subscriber update for August 6, 2016. I'm really excited for the next three weeks because I just wrapped up my summer classes and I have a whole three weeks free just to produce content. Uh, so I cannot wait. I have a lot of cool stuff planned, some of which I will talk about in this video. So stay tuned for that. But first things first, I am throwing another giveaway this month. Yes, uh, we are having an August giveaway. I am giving away one of those Orico uh, 15 port USB hubs. I will post the link to uh, the actual video review that I did on it uh, in the description if you guys want to check it out. And of course, I will post the link to the actual giveaway page uh, in the description as well. Uh, you must be a subscriber. You must be a resident of the immediate 48 US states. And I think that's really about it. Uh, you guys know I do that kind of like secret code thing. I made it a lot easier this time because a ton of people complained about finding the secret code last time. Um, so I tried to make it a little bit easier on you guys. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, the link to the secret code is actually on the giveaway page. And if you are a Patreon supporter, uh, you already have the secret code. So go check out that post. Posted it up last night. And uh, all you have to do uh, is fill out the Google form. Enter. Hey, and you are ready to go. Uh, one entry per person, please. I had a couple issues with that during the last giveaway, you know, uh, and, and we worked it out. But to make my life easier, please, only one entry per person. And just a quick little update about the PyTop Seed setup that I have right in front of me. I use this as my daily use desktop, and it originally shipped with the Raspberry Pi 3. I made a video about Ubuntu Mate running on the Raspberry Pi 3 in this setup and for the most part you know it was pretty usable i could have a couple instances of firefox open i could have a couple instances of LibreOffice open and everything worked out just fine but the one gigabyte of ram on the raspberry pi 3 uh, was slightly limiting and i wanted something that packed a little bit more punch as far as the ram uh, and the cpu was concerned so i upgraded to the odroid c2 i got that in about four days ago. I've been using it for about four days. And so far, I really like it. A lot of people said uh, that the performance of this thing blows the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 out of the water. I wouldn't say it blows it out of the water, uh, but it is substantially better than the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, that being said, the community behind this thing is a bit smaller, so sometimes it's a little bit hard uh, to find answers to questions regarding this board. Um, but, you know, I've been using it for the past four days, and so far, I really like it. It's equipped with a 2 gigahertz ARM quad-core processor. We have 2 gigabytes of DDR3 SD RAM on board this thing, uh, Mali 450 GPU. I still haven't been able to get OpenGL working on this thing. So I'm probably going to be spending a majority, or not majority, but some this weekend trying to get OpenGL uh, working on the Odroid C2 on Ubuntu Mate 16.04. And, uh, you know, I'm actually going to make a video about this in a week or two after I've used it for a couple weeks. So uh, you can expect that in the near future. And if you want to check out the Odroid C2, the link for that will be in the description as well, along with the video uh, of Ubuntu Mate 16.04 running on a Raspberry Pi 3. And talking about the PyTop Seed actually reminded me of something. So I told a couple of you that we were supposed to be giving away a PyTop Seed for the month of August. One of the co-founders of PyTop got in contact with me. I believe his name was Jesse Lorenzo. Uh, and he said he was going to ship one over. I got in contact with their shipping department, gave them all the information that they need to ship it over, but it still has not arrived yet. I guess I drove a ton of traffic to their website after I posted the video on this thing and uh, the article on this thing. And, uh, you know, they're going to send one over for you guys as a sort of thank you. So if it does arrive this month, I will be giving that away in September, so look forward to that. Now let's talk about some upcoming videos. So I do have some garage sale finds coming up. I just hit some garage sales this morning. I picked up a desktop for five bucks and two laptops for $2.50 each. So those should make some interesting videos. I also have a lot of product reviews coming up. Uh, I've been backed up on those. I just haven't been doing them because I haven't had the time. So I have a big pile of products right here uh, that we will take a look at over the next three weeks. Um, so with those out of the way, I want to talk about a project I'm really excited for. So uh, I've already talked about this in a couple other videos, but I have a pretty big solar project coming up in, uh, I'm actually going to publish it in two days. Uh, I still haven't started on it yet because I just haven't had the time, but with school over, I'm going to work on it all day tomorrow. Uh, and then hopefully it should be done by Monday and I'll get the first part of the video uploaded. Yes, I'm going to break it up into two parts just because it's going to be a lot of content uh, and a lot of stuff to edit together. So that makes things easier for me. But I'm going to take you guys off the tripod right now and we're going to have a look at some of the stuff I ordered. Um, and also uh, we'll take a look at that panel all the way in the back over there as well. Give you guys a little sneak peek. 
And of course, this is just a sneak peek, so I'll talk a lot more about this and why I am doing it in the actual video, which should be coming up in two days. But I'll talk a little bit uh, about why I'm doing this now. So I have, uh, I'm going to have two servers in the back that are going to be running 24/7, and basically I just want to take those off the grid, off my parents' power bill, uh, and put them on a small solar system. Uh, I only have one server in the back right now, and that's the web server. I do plan on building a uh, network attached storage system in the near future, um, but that's not gonna be for a month or two because the budget is uh, just not there right now because you know I just spent a bunch of money on this big solar project. Solar panels aren't uh, cheap and neither are batteries. So I have a 175 watt square wave inverter right here. This is gonna take the DC power from our batteries and convert it to uh, 120 volts AC. You can see some of the stuff that I'm using right here. Not going to go uh, too much into it. I have some wire down here. I believe this is a 12 gauge wire. We're going to run that from the solar panel, which will be outside all the way inside to the uh, actual um, solar charger and the inverter. And of course, uh, we have some other stuff right here. This is the solar charger in that white bag. Uh, we have some NC4 connectors. Uh, the battery is right here. I believe I ordered a 20 amp hour uh, lead acid battery. And I'm going to save that for the actual video. Now, we're gonna go over here and check out our panel. I ordered a 50 watt polycrystalline panel from Synthesis Power. Got this off eBay for I believe uh, 69 bucks. So yeah, uh, definitely a bit pricey there. But the thing about this is I still really haven't decided on where exactly uh, I want to put it. I have a general idea uh, of the area I want to place it in, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to mount it. I've come up with a couple different solutions in my head and I just haven't uh, decided on the one I want to use yet. Uh, I'm gonna save that for the actual video of course, but yeah, still thinking about that. Um, so that's a decision I have to make before tomorrow because I'm actually gonna put it together tomorrow. Um, and yeah, actually this is a decent panel. I uh, went outside, tested it in direct sunlight, produces about, uh, I was trying to remember those numbers off the top of my head, uh, but this thing was outputting uh, 20 volts at uh, 2.5 amps in direct sunlight. So uh, yeah, definitely not a bad panel. And indirect sunlight, <laughs> definitely not great. Uh, that's just the thing with solar panels. I was in indirect sunlight and it was outputting like, I think 200 milliamps at 19 volts. Um, so yes, this will have to be mounted in a place where it is going to receive direct sunlight. And I'm starting to go on a rant here, uh, a rant that I should save uh, for Sunday. So that's about it for this sneak peek. Uh, once again, stay tuned for the video. Really excited about it. It's gonna be really neat. I went back and watched that clip and I just realized I admitted some stuff that I wanted to talk about. So uh, I'm gonna talk about the solar project for just a couple more seconds. So this is going to be a smaller system in preparation for building a much larger one to power the servers. Um, I wanted to do it on a small scale first, see how easy it would maintain, be to maintain an uh, off-grid solar system. Um, so that is why I'm building this smaller system first. I kind of want to gain some experience with it before I go all in. Uh, the final system will probably end up costing, you know, around 500, 600 bucks. So uh, yeah, definitely want to execute that on the small scale first. And also the smaller system will be powering uh, my daily use desktop, which is the PyTop seed right here with the Odroid C2 inside. I will be powering a uh, LED light right here, another LED light over here, and I'll be using it to charge up a variety of devices as well. So uh, doing quite a bit. Um, you know, this, this should be a, a pretty decent little uh, test to see how easy it is to maintain a system like this. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. I've heard good things about systems like this. You know, uh, I've read a lot of stuff online that say it, it's really not that much work. So I'm expecting this uh, system to be overall pretty low maintenance, but I guess that also depends on how I put it together as well. I was editing this video together and I realized there was no audio in the last clip because I forgot to turn the phantom power supply back on. Duh, so I'm recording this all over again. Uh, anyway guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Please remember that these videos in particular, uh, the subscriber updates are meant to be pretty informal. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon page. And of course, please do not forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really excited for all the neat stuff that's coming up. I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.